What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, we all know that the new World Heavyweight Championship has been introduced into WWE uh, via Triple H's uh, announcement and reveal last night on Monday Night Raw. And it's created a lot of speculation of who should win it. And, you know, also it's created some type of confusion on why WWE now essentially has three world titles. The new World Heavyweight Championship, the Universal Championship, and the WWE Championship. And I wanted to talk about, honestly, who should be going for what title. Mainly in a situation when it comes to wherever Roman Reigns lands at. There's probably a good chance that Roman Reigns will be landing on SmackDown. Hence, that's where the draft is starting on SmackDown. They're pretty, I'm sure they're going to have the, the first pick and Roman is staying on Fox. Fox wants him on there. That's what's just going to happen. Now, the interesting thing is, what do we do next? Because we have this whole Cody storyline, him finishing the story. He didn't get to finish the story at WrestleMania. And me personally, and I've seen some people say this on Twitter and online, that they feel like, oh, that should be Cody's title, the new World Heavyweight Championship. To be honest with you, no. It shouldn't be because you have to understand the story they've been telling for these past few months is him trying to overcome the odds, come back from injury, win the title. You know, that was his initial uh, run when he came back to WWE to win the title that his father never won, the WWE Championship. And I think a lot of us speculated he was probably going to win at WrestleMania this year and then they were going to split the titles which I honestly think that's what they should have did in hindsight when you think about it all they honestly probably should have had Cody win to split the titles anyway but that's neither here nor there so if Roman goes to Smackdown well stays on Smackdown then it would only make sense if Cody went to Smackdown too and I said this in my video yesterday uh well no earlier today um talking about it Cody needs to go to SmackDown. And as I thought about it more, it only makes sense because at the end of the day, it doesn't make sense for him to all of a sudden be like, you know what? This belt looks better than both of those belts. I'm going to go for it. And then you also have to take into consideration if Cody does that, then he's ultimately admitting that Roman is too much for him and he can't get the job done. So I'm going to go for the second place belt not the belts that Roman has. Because that's what it's honestly going to be. We know they built this championship because they they booked themselves into a corner. This is the problem of not having a clear idea of how this ends. They booked themselves into a corner. They did. When you put both the belts on Roman, you didn't have a game plan to, to figure out how to get the titles off. The game plan should have been Cody, but he ended up getting injured. And I think if they would have kept Cody, if Cody would have never got injured at Hell in a Cell that year, I think they could have really built that story of him trying to get, you know, overcome the odds. And ultimately, I think maybe that probably would have been a better time. Well, they they probably would have pulled the trigger, in my opinion, um, on Cody winning at this year's WrestleMania. If he didn't get injured. Granted, I don't know. I'm just speculating here. But they still didn't have no clear idea of how to split the titles off of Roman. It's cool if Roman holds the Blueberry Championship for over a thousand days. That's fine. But you still have two shows. And Roman's not going to both shows every week. So you got to find a way to split the titles. They ultimately just did a roundabout way. Like, well, we're not going to split the titles. But... We'll create a new title so that way the USA Network can, you know, feel, you know, stop being upset that they don't have a, a world champion on Raw. So it's a workaround, but at the same time, whoever wins that championship is still going to be number two because we all know who number one is and it's Roman. It'll be like, it's not even going to be the secondary championship. It'll be the third championship because it, they have three of them now. So honestly, I do think if Roman goes to SmackDown, well, stays on SmackDown, Cody has to follow. They need it, it only makes sense. If he doesn't follow then and goes for this new championship, then honestly, 
it, none of this mattered. His whole story, his lineage and on trying to get the WWE Championship, none of this mattered. And then we have, what are we left with then? The only person that can beat Roman now is Cody. That's it. There is nobody else that makes sense. That's it. Honestly, nobody else. And I mean legitimately. Which, yeah, some of you guys talking about, oh, he hasn't faced him and Seth hasn't been beaten him. I mean, Seth hasn't, uh, Roman hasn't technically beat Seth and all this other stuff. No, bro. It has to be Cody. This is it. This the only person they have that it makes in storyline, storyline wise, Cody to get the job done. That's it. That is it. So honestly, Cody needs to go to SmackDown and still continue this story. And when he wins it, he better fucking win it. Hopefully this year, preferably at SummerSlam. That's the only real big option they have, in my opinion. And and someone, uh, I want to give credit. Uh, shout out to JD from NY. I know some of you guys are not a big fan of him, but I do agree with, you know, some of his points. And he mentioned this on his live stream last night while I was editing videos. He mentioned that the WWE Universal Championship should be retired. Whenever Cody wins it at SummerSlam or whatnot, they book it that way, retire the belt. Because Cody never won it, the Universal Championship. He only won it the WWE Championship. And let's be honest here. We don't need three world titles. And honestly, the Universal Championship, its lineage hasn't really been that good, to be honest with you. So if you had a choice to retire which championship, it would obviously be the, the Universal Championship because nobody is going to reach over a thousand days with that. Nobody. So I think they should retire it, put it in the vault, and that would be it. That would be the championship that Roman Reigns was able to make prestigious, the blueberry belt. Once it was the raspberry belt, then it became the blueberry belt, and then Roman was able to give it some type of type of legacy, a thousand day reign. There we go. And then retire it, put it in the vault, and then Cody has the WWE Championship, and I hope they give him a new design uh, with the championship belt as well, because I think that new the, the WWE Championship belt needs a new paint. You know, needs some need uh, needs a new look. They've had the big old WWE logo on it for quite some time, so I do think it needs a newer look, a fresher look, and to kind of complement. Um, to, to you know kind of match with what they got with the world heavyweight championship you know not the same style but something a little bit different you know to really paint like we're in this new era now of wwe the roman reign empire is done so honestly i think that is a great idea that he came up with cody wins at SummerSlam, then they retire the wwe universal championship it'll go in the vault Roman Reigns will have that part of WWE history having over a thousand day reign with the Universal Championship. It will be retired. You can retire the belt because the lineage of it isn't really that extensive anyway. Have Cody win the WWE Championship. Well, still have the WWE Championship. Maybe redesign it. And then there we go. That's it. I think that's how it should play out. And I don't know. It'll be interesting. I know some people are still clamoring for Seth Rollins to be the world heavyweight champion, which I wouldn't have a problem with. He's definitely worked his ass off to be that person. So I think that could be quite interesting. But I would like someone new and someone fresh to potentially come out of that. But I think they may end up giving it to Seth because Seth, he's been he's been the ball player. He's been the MVP. He's put over so many people these past few years and have some of the best matches on each and every pay-per-view you know, granted his gimmick can be a little bit zesty, but at the end of the day, his in-ring work has been impeccable. So honestly, I wouldn't have a problem with Seth winning it. I know a lot of people wouldn't, but I also would like maybe a new face to potentially come out of this victorious as well. So it's going to be very interesting to see what happens at Night of Champions. But in my opinion, Cody, wherever Roman goes, Cody needs to go. Most likely SmackDown. Finish the damn story at SummerSlam. Retire the Universal Championship. Redesign the WWE Championship for Cody if, if that's possible. Or, you know, if it's not, at least he'll still have the WWE Championship. It has his history, has his lineage. Boom, there we go. 
now both brands have the titles uh on their respective shows and active wrestlers on their respective shows that we can see the titles you know on a more uh weekly basis so that's just my opinion on it um what let me know how y'all think do y'all think uh cody should follow roman to finish the story me personally i do think that should be a thing because it only makes sense for cody to finish the damn story so we can move on to the next chapter and see what other feuds they can build drop that universal uh championship and we go from there so let me know what y'all think down below but i appreciate all the love and support you guys are showing on the channel road to 150k and i'm still your MSP, the youtube wrestling champion of the world appreciate y'all kicking me see you on the next one peace